Hi everyone, um, happy Moon Festival. My name is Anaushika Kaliru and I will be teaching you how to make um, Chinese lanterns out of construction paper for today. Um, so yeah, so today you will be needing um, a yellow paper like this. Um, a purple paper um, and for this you're gonna cut the first two inches off of the sheet of paper so this is would be the original sheet and I cut off two inches um, so yeah you have like a two inch less paper and you can use any color by the way I'm just using red um, I'm using yellow and purple because it's the most easiest to see um, yeah you will be needing a stapler or you can use a glue or tape or anything, just anything that will stick two pieces of paper together. Um, scissors and a ruler. So I will be using this. Any ruler is fine. You just may have to make sure that it's a straight edge. And even if you don't have a ruler, you can just use anything with a straight edge, such as a book or a notebook. Okay? So we're going to start with this paper over here. And we're going to roll it up like this. So you're going to take the shorter side and roll it up. You want to make a pretty big circle, kind of like that, and you want to make sure that the lines are lined up so that it's equal in size and everything. You don't want one size to be one side to be too big and the other to be too small. So you want to make sure that everything is lined up. Okay, I think that is good. I'm just going to take my stapler, staple one end, and then we're going to take my stapler and put it on the other end as well. Okay, so now we have this kind of cylinder thing, okay? Okay, so now we're going to move on to our yellow paper, and this is normal sized. You didn't cut anything off this one. So you're going to take a yellow paper. And you're going to take a ruler and line it up with the edge of the yellow paper. So like that. Ignore this part over here if you noticed it. Um, that is for a later part that I will be teaching you. So you're going to line it up with the edge of the paper and just draw a line. And you're going to do that in all four sides. So you should end up with something like this. With these lines. Sorry, I'm trying to play around with the shadows so you can see. So yeah, that is what you should end up with. And now to get these lines that only go through the middle, you can see that like if I do this, there's like a hole in the paper, but it doesn't completely tear apart. You can draw or you can fold your paper in half, right? You want to make sure you do this very lightly. You don't want to fold it that hard. Otherwise, you're going to have a straight line and it won't really have the effect that we want. And then now you can draw straight lines going down in equal parts on the side. You're going to take some scissors and just cut a straight line across, okay? Right, so we have this part, and oh, let me do another so you can see like an actual part. Okay, so now when you open it, you have a piece that is being poked out, so like that. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you're going to do it throughout the entire paper, um, except leaving one inch on each side. And when you're done with that, you should have something like this. I actually didn't put the one inch on each side in this one, so it's going to have a little bit more of the lines, but that's fine. Um, okay, so now we are actually we're almost done. So we're going to take our yellow paper and our cylinder and we're going to roll the yellow paper across the cylinder so we're going to wrap it around okay you want to make sure that it's tucked very tightly onto the purple pa paper there shouldn't really be a space between the two okay And then you're just going to staple it to make sure that it stays stuck to this paper. 
And then now the reason we actually cut off those two inches from before is so that we can actually create this effect. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to, first of all, we're going to staple this other side together so that it's easier for us to use. So just line it up. You want to make sure that it is pretty accurate to the top of the purple cylinder. So now we're going to take this. You can see that the purple cylinder is smaller on the inside. So we're going to take the top of the yellow and we're going to push down onto the purple. Just like that. And you should have kind of like this diamond thing. Okay? And then we can just staple it. Just to make sure that it stays together. Okay? And then from there, this is just an extra step you can do if you want to. You're going to take the strip of paper that you cut off the purple paper from before. Remember when you cut off the two inches? So you're going to take that strip of paper and you're going to put it on the inside of your um, lantern and staple it. And then you'll wrap it around like a rainbow. Make sure it's even. And then staple that. Sorry, my stapler was being weird. Um, but yeah, this is your Chinese lantern that you have made. And you can make as many as you want in a bunch of different sizes. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to do it the way I did it. Let me get this here so you can see. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a great moon festival. Bye.